Thanks for tuning in to the Ontario Singles Crokinole Championship of 2024, the final event of the National Crokinole Association Tour. We are here in the quarterfinals with, to your right, Jeff McKean, who has seen great success, often making top eight at tournaments, versus the Connor Reinman, who is fighting to take first place in the entire tour. This will be a race to nine points between these players, and Jeff will be first to start giving Reinman the hammer. McKean drains that first 20. Reinman now lips out, might live leave a very thin slice for Jeff who instead is opting to go straight on with it probably not looking to come that close to the 20 Ryman not quite able to roll in Jeff now either be going for the follow through or the stick a little bit close to the hole now again but Ryman also misses this one McKean doesn't get the off, but far enough away from the 20 that it will be difficult for Ryman to convert. Ops to hit and stick. Ryman in a comfortable position right now, having hammer, two discs on the board. He is down a 20, but if he can keep this positioning on the board, he will not be in a bad spot whatsoever. Tucks that second disc behind a peg, leaving McKean with only one to work with if he wants to keep playing in the middle. Ryman now most likely looking just for a hit and stick not to leave McKean an opportunity. Never mind! Ryman with a beautiful follow through evening out the 20s cup. Leaving McKean no choice here but to peel if he wants to get play back in the middle. If Ryman can get this 20 he will secure the first round which he does. Very nice play from Ryman. McKean misses that last 20 inconsequential. And Ryman will be taking this first round. Let's see that follow through again. Absolutely gorgeous. Great shot from Ryman. Score now 2-0. Ryman to open this second round. Gets a 20. Jeff with hammer advantage, but needing a 20 to keep pressure on and just lips out. Ryman may be leaving the door open for a touch 20. Maybe the off as well. See what McKean is able to do. Very nice shot from McKean. Gets that 20, evening out the cup. Reset now, Ryman gets a second 20. McKean now dialed in. Both players, very great shots, and you see Ryman taking his time with his 20, and gets it. You'll often see him do that in his matches, and seems to have a very high success rate. He is, of course, one of the best in the league right now. See if Ryman's able to convert this. Not quite, just a little bit short. McKean now needing that 20. Very nice push on that. Down to three discs each for each player. Ryman drains that 20, as does McKean, down to these last two shots. And Ryman lifts out. If McKean can just get away and not leave Ryman with an opportunity, which he does, he will most likely have sealed this second round. Ryman tries to catch a peg, almost gets it. You see a smile off him, so close, but not quite. McKean with the off now, seals the second round. Sees some shots from McKean, very nice angle in, and this nice push. Tied now at two points each. Again, this is a race to nine, so still a long way to go to determine a winner for this quarterfinal match. Ryman will have hammer in this third round. McKean goes on the far side of the pegs. Ryman very content to stay on the outside. McKean unfortunately catches a peg and Ryman will opts to keep McKean's disc on. Gives him a lot to work with. McKean has a lot of discs to clear off the board now. Ryman with two discs up on the board. No 20s yet but in a very good position. Players having some chuckles. McKean having a little bit of difficulty clearing the discs off the board. See now most likely going at the very least for a double. Does get it but doesn't lose his own. So Ryman is more than content to keep playing on the outside here. McKean is going to need a double and to clear his own disc if he wants a shot. Almost catches that second disc. Not quite. Down to his last shot now. Keen will have to clear the board to make Reinman 
Shoot. Well, he doesn't clear, but Ryman still has to shoot if he wants to win. And ends it on a 20 in good old Ryman fashion. We see this very tactical hit there. McKean's good double. And then this final angle in. Inconsequential just for the style. Ryman now up 4-2. to two. Drains his open 20. McKean does have hammer, but comes up short. Ryman content to hit and stick there. Forcing McKean to try for a push through. Doesn't quite get it. And Ryman happy to stay there. McKean potentially coming in. Not quite a little bit short. And maybe leaving Ryman with a 20 opportunity. Not quite. But leaving it in not a great spot. A follow through is what Jeff needs. Now a little bit closer. Door open again for Ryman. Let's see if he can convert this 20. And he does. Very nice shot. Up to 20s now. McKean going long on this one. And Ryman. A follow through. Up 320s now. Shots inconsequential. Ryman will be taking this fourth round. Going for those 20s still. Just trying to up the 20 count. Jeff ends on a 20. Very nice shot. Ryman will take this fourth round. And we see impressive shots from both players. And we see this follow through. Ryman's get, been getting a few of those this game. All very impressive. McKean to open this fifth round and leaves a hanger for Ryman, which he converts. Ryman now up a 20 and with the hammer. And McKean now long. A bit of an overcorrection. Ryman with an open 20. Sealing that 20 advantage. McKean just drops it. Third time's a charm. Finds that Goldilocks zone. Ryman now to miss. McKean could convert that follow through 20. He'd be back, but let's see if Ryman's able to convert. Not quite loses his own shooter. McKean now with an open 20, hoping to even the 20s count. Little bit long, but on the right side of the hole. Ryman getting lots of action on the posts. His disc now posted, leaving McKean with a tough off, which he gets. Bringing play back to his side. See what McKean is able to do here. Looks like he's going for a little bit of a push. Not quite enough juice. Ryman content to keep play over there. Making McKean go for these tough push through shots. Ryman now to take this round, bring the score to eight to two points. See that very nice hanger 20. Ryman to open this round, drains a 20. He's been on those this game. McKean follows suit, now finding his range. Both players absolutely dialed in. McKean knows he cannot afford to lose another round. If Ryman can even get a tie out of this, he will take the win on this game and move on to the semi final round but Ryman goes long on this McKean content to keep play away from Ryman Ryman trying to catch a post unfortunately only catches post and loses his own disc McKean unable to get the 20 but not an easy conversion here for Ryman never mind I underestimate how good Ryman is very nice shot and McKean goes through his own to get the 20 to keep play on the outside. Ryman pushes through a bit too far. McKean will be looking to hit and stick over here, forcing Ryman to peel. To hopefully guarantee himself this round and to stay in the game. McKean comes up short. And Ryman, with that conversion, guarantees the tie and wins this quarterfinal match. Very good job on both players' parts, and congrats to Ryman, who will be moving on to the semifinal round of the Ontario Singles Crokinole Championship. Thank you again for tuning in, and stay tuned as we will have the other quarterfinal matches coming out very shortly. And then to follow, Connor Ryman moving up into the semifinals. Thank you again for watching, and let us know what you think of this match in the comments. Happy flicking, and as always, make it a great day.